Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The heavyweight contender Alexander Usyk will turn his attention to his promotional company Usyk 17 this weekend, putting on his first major show in Ukraine. And it's a heavyweight stacked card, three really good heavyweight prospects on the card. There was going to be a fourth prospect, Igor Shevardutsky, on the card, but seemingly he's not listed on BoxRec anymore, and I can't find any sort of evidence that he is still fighting, although he was previously announced as being on the undercard. So we'll see what happens happens there but the three main guys that we'll focus on in this video because there is a another fight it's a guy um, who's 2-0 but we're not going to concentrate on him but you have Vladislav Serenko and Alexander Zakozy both 13-0 they're not facing each other they're sort of in showcase fights and we'll talk about that and you also have um, a 1-0 prospect Victor Vickhurst who was a good amateur and there is some buzz for him to you know in the heavyweight division that he's going to be able to do something and and potentially be a really good contender. These three guys that I've just listed, then the next wave of Ukrainian heavyweights that are coming through that could potentially sort of compete at world level. But we'll start with Vladislav Serenko because it's quite interesting with his sort of career. He's been a little bit all over the place in terms of where he's fought. He's uh, headline cards in South Africa. Obviously, he's fought in Germany as well. Currently 13-0 trained by James Ali Bashir. There's a lot to like about Vladislav Serenko, his skill set, very good left hook, razor sharp, good power, and he's sort of looked impressive in most of his fights so far. But it is a case with him, he's been somewhat out of sight out of mind in South Africa, Germany as well. Uh, I'm not really sure of his promotional status, but this card yeah, remembering this is going to be on export in Ukraine. There's, uh, it's a country, a big market, forty odd million people. He has a chance to actually, you know, build his reputation a bit more in his home country. And potentially, who knows, there could be, you know, a promotional push for him now because I think that he's a guy that has sort of languished a little bit in the shadows where prospects of a similar sort of talent level have started to sort of uh, gain more attention with a sort of casual and boxing audience more broadly. So Serenko, a good chance. It's a showcase fight, really. He's facing a guy called Pavlo Kralenko. The guy is 3-5-0. So, you know, he's not going to be much chop, but this I see this as an opportunity for him to start, you know, announcing himself a little bit more to a wider audience than he's been fighting in front of. So he is going to get good exposure here, and I would expect this is a scheduled eight-rounder, so it's not the main event or anything like that, but probably going to blast this guy out with a knockout or something like that. And his profile probably does need it. And he has been one of the the fighters that have been featured for this card, obviously, uh, this promo shot here, and also featured in the promo poster. And this event, it is being held at a private club, the Ikides Club or Ikides Club. I'm you know, probably butchering the pronunciation, but there is going to be some fans present. Um, and just on some of the um, broadcast details, I was just looking at this earlier because uh, previously there'd been a bit of information around that it was going to be on Usyk's YouTube channel. Not so sure that's the case anymore. Some of that information appears to have disappeared, but uh, definitely on export, if you have VPN, you'll probably be, a, be able to um, watch that. But also uh, it starts at three o'clock um, in the afternoon Ukraine time. So you have to do your conversion for that with the event finishing at about 10 o'clock so that's quite a long card and if you have a look at the listing on box Rec, and apart from the four heavyweight fights there's a screed of other fights on there so it's going to be one of those real really long unwieldy type ones if you wanted to watch it from start to finish so it's a shame Igor Shevardutsky um, if he is on the card it's good because he'll probably be quite early on he was listed as being on the lower part the early part of the undercard uh, this other guy who's uh, 2-0 uh, his name is uh Dimitro Bezos. He's facing a guy called Pavlo Lukanyov. So uh, that guy's on his uh, debut. So that might be one of the opening fights. But apart from um, that guy, you know, you have these other three fights. Serenko against Pavlo Kralenko. I expect him to get the win. 
Another guy, Alexander Zarkozy, also 13 and 0. He's facing a guy called Konstantin Dobyshenko. So this is also a similar situation to the Serenko fight. It's a showcase. And like Serenko, Zarkozy has kind of for the most part been lingering in the shadows. This is a guy who's um, you know, got who's six foot nine, he's got decent boxing skills, and he can actually, I think, go some places with his height and skills in the heavyweight division. He's one of these guys, he's not necessarily you know when you think of a lot of these tall guys they can be a little bit uncoordinated but this guy is an athlete so if he is brought along the right way I think he has a chance to be in some very good fights down the line. 27 years old at the moment. And also, Serenko, he's not that old as well. He's mid 20s. So these are guys have got time, but they do need a bigger promotional push. And that sometimes is the issue when you're not with a big promoter. You're not fighting on, you know, TV either in the UK or the US. It's a little bit out of sight, out of mind. If you're not linked with a really big promoter, you can sort of struggle your way through and. To some extent, I think that's the situation with Zarkozy and Serenko. Zarkozy, he does have a win over Kevin Johnson. Seemingly everyone does these days. But he's a guy who has been gradually improving. I like the skill set. You know, he does like to keep it long, but he's very athletic in the ring too. So, you know, I like where he's going and where he could potentially go. In a division where tall guys really do have an advantage, you know, if Zarkozy can put it all together, you know, he can go places. And this fight, you know, a similar sort of situation. He needs to go in there, look good. He's got an audience of millions to fight in front of. It's a good showcase fight. Nothing more. We can't really read too much into these matchups because they're not that strong. But it's a chance for the likes of Zakozi and Serenko and Viktor Vikus, who we'll get to in a second, to um, build their profiles in Ukraine, which is going to be important for them because if Alexander Usyk is starting to hold more cards there and he wants to you know, have an association with these fighters, and I don't actually know the promotional status for Serenko or Zarkozy. So maybe there is a chance if Usyk's going to be running more of these type cards that he can start building them up. Uh, Victor Vickhurst, he, I do know he is with EC Boxing. He is fighting on this card. He's uh, facing a guy in a six rounder called Semen Pakamov. And this guy has a record of 2 and 10. So really, it's not going to be much chop. Again, a showcase fight. But Victor Vickhurst, early in his career, just 1 and 0. Oh. Here's a little bit of footage from that first fight. Um, it's a case where he's just sort of getting a bit of a run out here. All of these guys have been somewhat inactive but due to the pandemic. So, you know, they get a run out and hopefully we see them in the ring again soon. Because it's getting to the stage where Zarkozy and Serenko, you know, they're both 13-0 and 0 and seemed soon to be 14-0. and 0. They've got to start making a push. They've kind of been languishing to some extent, but they need to be getting into those bigger tests, the better step-up fights, and getting to sort of, um, you know, something close to approaching world level. They need to start proving to us that they belong in the conversation. Because right now, we see a lot of potential and not much else. But what do you make of this card? Drop a comment, loud and often, hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared, I'm out.